Racial injustice and police brutality aren't the only beasts we're fighting. Voting suppression is one of the many shameful matters that constructs America's democratic model. Kentucky, which is home to the gruesome death of unarmed Breonna Taylor, one of the most horrifying cases of 2020, has made the voting process increasingly difficult. Recently, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir announced an executive order that expanded mail-in and absentee ballot access, but placed a sharp limit to the number of in-person polling locations due to COVID-19. The consequence of these limitations include Jefferson and Fayette, who are home to the state's largest African-American populations, who will each have just one in-person polling location. In Jefferson alone, there are 626,525 registered voters, while in Fayette County, there are 243,711 registered voters. In a typical election year, Kentucky usually has 3,700 poll locations. For its 2020 primary election, the state will only have 200 active polls. This is modern-day Jim Crow. This is modern-day voter suppression. What's next? To combat this controversy, House of Representatives candidate and the state's youngest lawmaker, Charles Booker, is providing bus transportation for voters from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. from Louisville, Bowling Green, and Northern Kentucky. Many celebrities, including LeBron James, Issa Rae, and Ava DuVernay, took to Twitter to call out what we all know, a systematic oppressive tactic. LeBron James and his longtime business partner, Maverick Carter, formed a political organization, More Than a Vote, which strives to fight voter suppression and improve the overall process. Absentee ballots can be dropped off at either the Edison Center or the Kentucky Expo between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Mail-in ballots should be postmarked by June 23, 2020.